Juan Carlos was the king of Spain for very nearly 40 years, a bridge between the past pain of Franco's dictatorship and the modern world. But now he's going into exile, abandoning the country he once ruled. It is six years since he abdicated, handing the throne to his son, Felipe. What followed were growing, damaging allegations of corruption. The popularity of the monarchy has waned. Juan Carlos's reputation has collapsed. I'm a Republican, so in principle, I think it's great news. In any case, it would be better if he were judged and if found guilty, sentenced in a court in Spain. We think it's terrible because he's done a lot for Spain. He's done more good than harm. I know that if he leaves, it's because of everything that's been said, but I don't understand it. Juan Carlos came to the throne in 1975. He was seen as the king to make a break from Franco's cruelty and embrace the modern world. Six years later, he was acclaimed as a hero for standing up to a military coup. For decades, Juan Carlos was seen as a stabilizing force in Spain. But in later years, he appeared out of touch. He was injured hunting elephants in Botswana while the financial crisis ravaged his nation. And then there was this. The late King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia is alleged to have given Juan Carlos a gift of around 100 million euros in exchange for backing a business deal. Swiss investigators have claimed the money was hidden and later transferred to a Danish businesswoman who was a close friend of Juan Carlos. She has now been asked to testify. Juan Carlos wrote today that he had always wanted what is best for Spain and the crown. Noble words, but the legacy of this once beloved king seems tarnished terribly. And the question facing Spain now is this. If criminal prosecutors think there is a case to answer, Will Juan Carlos come back willingly? Adam Parsons, Sky News.